Many Australians enjoy boating on our oceans, bays, rivers and lakes. As conditions can change quickly, knowing what weather you're headed into is key for your safe return. To help you understand and plan for the current and approaching weather, wave and tidal conditions, the Bureau has developed five vital checks. These checks are the questions you need to ask about the weather before you head out and how your boat will perform and react in those conditions. Your first vital check is paying attention to the warnings. Knowing what warnings have been issued for your boating area is your highest priority. They warn of potentially dangerous conditions expected during the coming days and cover weather elements such as wind, weather, seas and swells. Bureau warnings are updated every six hours. The second vital check is to look at the forecast so you are prepared for the approaching weather. Check to see if it is likely that any fog, rain, thunderstorms or strong winds are headed your way whilst you're on the water. The third vital check is to take a close look at the wind forecast, paying particular attention to the changes in wind speed and direction over the course of your trip. While forecasts show average wind speeds, wind gusts are typically 40% stronger than the average wind speed and can be even stronger during a storm. Wind warnings are issued when forecast winds reach 26 knots and above. The fourth vital check is to take note of the sea and swell conditions. Each day you should be prepared to experience some waves that could be as much as twice the forecast height. Swell waves are the longer, more regular waves generated by distant weather systems. Swell waves start to break when they reach the shallow water. Sea waves are generated by local winds and produce short interval messy waves, which are often referred to as choppy conditions. The fifth vital check is knowing when the high and low tides are. Tide levels change throughout the day and can have a big impact on access to launches, the depth of hazards beneath the surface, wave behaviour and water currents. The height of the tide is particularly important for planning when to cross the sandbar. Staying up to date with the forecasts and warnings is just as important as watching the weather. Once on the water, keep an eye on the horizon and if threatening weather is approaching, head back. Combined with keeping your boat and safety gear well maintained, these five vital checks will assist you in having a safer and more enjoyable time out on the water. For more weather and safety information, please go to our website at bomb.gov.au forward slash marine. And remember, if you're the skipper, you're responsible. <laughs>